Welcome back. They like to say the game is always close, that there aren't blowouts when Ohio State faces that team up north. But that's not true. Over the course of the entire series, the average margin of victory is over 14 points. Since 1935, when the game was moved to the end of the season, on average, the margin of victory has been 12 and a half points. And since Woody Hayes take took over in 1951, the margin is 11 points. Guess it depends on your definition of a close game. Another installment of the game, Brady Hoke's job very much on the line, probably as his Wolverines in danger finishing with a losing record early on after a Von Bell pick. OSU, great field position at the Michigan Six. JT Barrett rolls out, tight end Nick Vanette. OSU scores early, 7-0. But much like last year, Michigan saves the best for last. Late second quarter, OSU down 14-7. Two-minute drill working for the 25. Barrett's going to keep it, and JT once again just fast enough to not be tackled. Ties the game at 14. Hey, big nuts into it. OSU gets the ball first in the second half. Momentum carrying over near midfield. Barrett going deep, connects with Devin Smith down at the two. All Smith does is catch 40-yard bombs. Leads to a Barrett rushing touchdown in the 21-14 OSU lead. Fourth quarter, Barrett goes down with the Buckeyes up by seven. A dislocated ankle. He will uh, go into surgery. Done for the game and the season. That continued to develop. Four, later in the fourth quarter, OSU still up seven, facing fourth and one. Going for it and faking out the Michigan D is Ezekiel Elliott. 44 yards to the house. 35-21, next position for Michigan. Devin Gardner under pressure. Under pressure, Joey Bosa forces the fumble. Darren Lee scoops and scores. Same combination, produced a touchdown the season opener against Navy. They do it again today. Ohio State wins 42-28. Season began with a question mark at quarterback. It might end the same way. Mark Coons has more from Columbus. So the Buckeyes got the victory, but it was a costly victory as JT Barrett left with a leg injury. Still unclear of the severity, but one thing Urban Meyer was able to say for certain, the Buckeyes won't have Barrett next week in the Big Ten title game. A well, quarterback's a product of those around him, you know, and that was uh, the fourth down and one call with, uh, you know, hand the ball off to a very good running back and an offensive line that blocks you. You're going to have to make some plays at the quarterback position, which he has all the talent in the world. Just and the, and the good thing is he's going to get a lot of reps. You know he's probably one of the toughest kids I've ever met. Um, you know, the way he handles his business and even see him in that locker room, man, he's he's as tough as nails. And that's what I told the team afterwards, man. I've never met you know someone like him before, and uh, you know it's a huge loss. But uh, we got to keep moving forward, and uh, we're going to prepare as a team, as an offense, and get ready for next week. So. Mike Miller, our Buckeye Insider, joins us now. And Mike, obviously the loss of JT Barrett, the big story today. Cardell Jones will be the Ohio State quarterback at least next week for the Big Ten Championship game. Of course, we could see some Jalen Marshall at QB as well as we did today. Yeah, you know, that's an interesting component. One of the uh, – in the post uh, that was asked of Coach Meyer, I think it threw him a little bit, and he realized that's a, that's a pretty good option, as we know, and it has been talked about uh, throughout the season. But, uh, you know, I don't think we can undersell Cardale Jones. He's taken some snaps. He played virtually the entire half of the Illinois game, and, hey, he's your best horse now, and Buckeyes are going to have to ride him. Another bucking Bronco of a performance by the defense today, up and down, but when Ohio State needed the defense in the fourth quarter, after JT Barrett went out, the defense came up big. Big sack by JT or by Joey Boza to force the fumble. And Darren Lee, he had a fantastic game leading up to that fumble return, but put the icing on the cake with that touchdown. Yes, he did. And how ironic. First game of the year, he had one of those fumble recovery returns for a touchdown against Navy, and he, he does it against Michigan. And I was really impressed with the defense, the way they, they hung through the game. Uh, at no point did they give up, uh, and, and it became emotional for the defense when, they, when JT Barrett went down. And I think they sort of wore on Michigan as the game progressed, and that's what – some of us thought might be the case, and I think it was, and I give the defense, the line, and the linebackers a lot of credit. So Ohio State gets the victory and will move on to the Big Ten title game on a winning streak as they will take on the winner of Minnesota-Wisconsin next week in Indianapolis. Guys, back to you.